Hey there, welcome to Seller Locker tutorial and overview. In this video, me and Joe Bidvo, who's the CEO and founder of Seller Locker, are gonna walk you through the software and show you how it works. So I've used it myself as well, and I was really happy to contact Joe, and he was really nice for him to come to this channel and share it all with us. And because he created this, he's gonna tell you why, and it's gonna be really fun. So Joe, man, please introduce yourself to us, man. Really happy to have you here, man. Tell us your well, story, thank man. You. Thank you. So I'm happy to hear that, you know, you're getting some good reimbursements with the tool. I think you only signed up just a few days ago. So, yes. uh, you know, that's pretty exciting. So, yeah, we've been in business for about three years now. We have about 3,000 sellers using our platform at this point. Like you already know, what's different about Seller Locker is the fact that we have a software as opposed to just being a service company. We have a software where sellers can interact, gain full transparency into their account, actually identify the leaking points that are draining their profits, recover FBA fees, and we can really be a lot more thorough than just a typical service company with the software that we've built. I was thinking to just show maybe two or three different features that we've built, things that make us unique so that, you know, all the sellers out there can kind of get an idea of why Seller Locker is different and, you know, what we bring to the table. So I guess I'll jump straight right into it. I'll give you a quick display of the dashboard. So as you already know, this is the dashboard that every seller sees. You know, we give you an insight into a look into, you know, that awaiting action, how much is sitting there in your account. And with just a few clicks of a button, sellers can actually submit a very accurate claim to Amazon requesting reimbursements for the money that's owed to them. In a simple case, and we'll jump into a little bit more difficult cases later, we show sellers mm -hmm. that in a certain scenario, you know, 10 items were lost, two of them were already found by Amazon and were, you know, reimbursements were placed on those specific items. And with one click of a button, we actually go after that remaining eight pieces. The data automatically gets pushed into a seller central form into the right area with all the details that you need. And the seller clicks one button, send, or we have virtual assistants that do this for you. And that case gets submitted on your behalf very, very fast. But that's not like the cool part about Seller Locker. What makes us unique is not just submitting claims, it's following up with Amazon. So service companies or even sellers out there, dealing with Amazon is very difficult, like you may know. And Amazon always has a response for you whether you're opening yeah. a small case or a big case, they're always, and more recently, they've been denying cases up front or just throwing all these different policies they want you to read. They want you to read three policies here. They're, they're dropping different terms they expect you to be familiar with, like fair market value. And the typical Amazon seller like you does not know how to respond to this. And even if you are a service company, this can take you about 10 to 15 minutes to, to craft the perfect response and push this to the next step. What Seller Locker does, and we fed millions of cases into our system and built a machine learning tool that is capable of picking up what the case is telling you. And on the spot, instantly, we know that Amazon reimbursed you less than what we expected. We went after 2000, they only gave us a thousand. A lot of other companies out there might not go after the rest or sellers might not be able to even know that Amazon only reimbursed them half based on what they're telling you here. But the tool does pick that up and with a click of a button, sellers can actually take this case to the next level disproving Amazon with their own policies. And that's been huge in um, helping sellers take cases all the way to the end, making sure that every single dollar that's out there is going into their pockets. And that's been a major game changer. So really what we did is we built a case management tool, not just about submitting that first case, but following up on every single case. And we're only able to do that with technology. The only way we can respond yeah. to 200 and you know, tens of thousands of cases every day is through technology. Otherwise, yes. we just you know, forget about these items. So sellers get access to this case management tool. Our virtual assistants use this case management tool. Very powerful platform. We released it back in September, this new feature. Mm -hmm. And reimbursements increased by about 40% since implementing this new feature because too many cases were expiring and not going all the way to yeah. the end. So that's like one part of the tool that's really, really unique. Another thing that makes us unique is our FBA fees. This is something that we spoke about earlier. Yeah. Amazon's dimensions on a product, you know, are constantly remeasured and that causes an overcharge. So Amazon may remeasure one of your products and make a mistake on that measurement. And the, the dimensions go from 331 to 490. So that's about $1.60 more. every single time an item is sold. And that's only $1.60 here. I've seen crazy cases. Um, it could be five, 10, $20 of overcharges every time a unit is sold. And without a good system to catch this, it really gets costly. So I'm going to show you what Seller Locker does in these specific scenarios. Automatically, when sellers put their dimensions into our tool, we start auditing every single order that happens going forward. And if there ever is an overcharge, 
our tool immediately picks it up and brings it to the seller's attention or our virtual assistants go ahead and fight this claim. So in this specific case here, Amazon measured this item and although they're slightly off, it's not that much off, about an inch on the width, that's $4.36 every time an item is sold. On a $30 retail, $5 of profit is a lot of money. Um, of instantly, money. Seller Locker caught this. We can download the Excel sheet that sellers need, format it exactly how Amazon wants to see it. And again, with the click of a button, the data gets automatically transferred into a case to Amazon. The verbiage is exactly what they want to see. In what the case, we'll even acknowledge the fact that they reimbursed us in the past for this item and, and that it wasn't enough based on our calculations. So we try to address a lot of it up front. Amazon has any pushback, we'll get them back with the responder. But this has also been huge. Sellers are increasing hundreds of thousands of dollars of profits into the bottom line. It's not only important to fix the dimensions and get back the money that's owed to you, but going forward, every time now you sell this product, you're going to be making an extra $5 of profits that you would have lost. So we make you more money, put it straight into your pocket. So this $119,000, we don't charge sellers on that. That's you know, pure mm -hmm. profits going straight into their pocket because they have an auditing system in place. And like I mentioned before, sometimes it's crazy cases. I was just looking at this the other day. One of the sellers mm -hmm. actually sent me the watch because they were so happy that, you know, about what we did for them. This item All has right. a 2292 <laughs> retail. The fees on yes. this watch was 1997. Amazon oh, wow. <laughs> was charging the seller $20 to ship this item. Mistakenly, we yes. got it fixed very quickly, but um, they were losing money every single time the item was sold. They were not, it's not like they were losing profits. They were not making any profits. They were actually exactly. $10 and $15 every time this was sold. So yeah, so they sent this one, but this, this happens. And Absolutely. there can be these fluke items in your account or maybe some of your high volume items that are causing major leakage in your profits. And with Seller Locker system, we definitely tackle that category and optimize all of the different listings that we're tracking. I'll touch on one other point, and there's, mm -hmm. you know, we can get a full walkthrough of the tool in our knowledge base. But one other thing that, that makes Seller Locker unique is documentation and creating a hub for sellers to use to manage their shipments. So mm -hmm. a lot of people know how to reconcile inbound shipment claims, but not everybody is organized enough in prepping the cases to win the claim. So yeah, you can go into Amazon and reconcile it on your own. However, do you have the documentation? Most likely not if you shipped the item three, four months ago. Do you still remember if you shorted the quantities or if the shipment that you sent was accurate enough? If you don't do this proactively as you go through your shipment process, it's nearly, you know, it's, it turns into a big challenge and, and, and you don't even want to do it anymore. So what Seller Locker did is we built a prep hub where sellers, as they're shipping out items, can upload documentation. They can adjust quantities on specific shipments so that when it actually gets to Amazon and, and we do our reconciliation and bring these cases to you, we have as accurate information as possible. Sellers can upload documentations in many ways. They could even text it to our tool. Every seller locker customer gets a cell phone number. They could take a picture of their bill of lading or a receipt or an invoice, text it, and we'll automatically save it into, into the right shipment so that when sellers want to open up a case later on and Amazon puts that block, hey, we need a document, we don't get blocked anymore. I'll show you right now. When a seller uploads their document, the document follows them from their cell phone all the way to the case into the seller central form. So that document gets automatically populated on the screen, uploaded and attached to the case. So now a seller just has to click send. There's no, you know, headache going back. Where's that document? Call the warehouse. Everything is, you know, streamlined so that it just takes a few seconds to, to, to really reconcile any type of case. And that's been huge. Doc Sellers that are not, you know, using documents when uploading cases, they're definitely not winning the big cases. Yeah. And I'm sure if they look at their success rate, it's not too high. So that's another thing that Seller Locker customers get is this shipment hub. And that's why we've been very successful in submitting these claims between, you know, prepping the cases with the documents and getting accurate claims and then opening up that case and following up properly, the, the FBA fees. It's really a, a great system to mm -hmm. truly maximize your profits and find all the different discrepancy points, saving your team a lot of time because to do this on your own would be very difficult. Even if you employ a third party VA, I'm sure they're missing a lot and not yeah. following up properly and they don't have the documents that they need. So it's very worth sellers to give this a try. I know you were using a different platform before, but just seeing yeah. what's missing and seeing how we could have taken things to the end is key. So signing up, even if you have another 
party that you're, you're happy with, just seeing what they're missing and seeing if we can improve on that process. Yeah, man. First, I want to say that I've used your platform. And what I really liked is that I did it in two clicks, essentially. I think the first click was inside the kind of the system and seller locker. And I've recovered the lost inventory, right? I've gotten money back for lost inventory. And this next click was on Seller Central, man, like to submit the case. That's it, (laughs) which is really nice against other tools that I've used where they still recover me money. Yes, 100%. But it was more of a hustle, which, you know, it's fine, but it's, it makes it much easier. And the second point that you mentioned, man, is the fees. Back in summer 2018, Amazon put my product from, I think, 3.19 per product to 10 point something, right? To wow. oversize, right? And they don't notify you for this. <laughs> I mean, I just saw it by you know, just by walking through my products on Seller Center, I was like, wait a minute, like what's going on? <laughs> and now I, because I caught it, right? I was able to just send them a case and I've got a, like the money for the time back. And so that's nice, but I have a question for you. So how long can you go back to Amazon with your software and get money back from previous months or kind of? Right, so good question. Amazon actually changed the policies with regards to fees. It used to be seller sign up and then they can go 18 months back. So people- Yes, yeah, that's what I remember. And, and they would wait because they can always go back 18 months. Now Amazon limited it to 90 days. So if you oh, don't wow. do it, yeah, 90 days now. Wow. You only get money wow, back man. for 90 days. So sellers should act now because- Now, yeah. You're yeah. really <laughs> not gonna get that money back. So every day that you're waiting is another day that that cutoff comes closer. Wow. For inventory related discrepancies, it's about 18 months. So we can still go after inventory related discrepancies for 18 months. And then shipments are, have always been nine months from when the item was received. I see, man. And Joe also wanted to ask you about the VA you mentioned. You have an option to add a VA through the system to yeah, the so seller. All sellers get virtual assistance if they want it. Some sellers, you know, enterprise level sellers. Yeah, enterprise level. I could do some of the work on their own, and then they like to offload some of the work on the on our team. So yeah, no cost. We'll, we'll do the work for you with regards to opening cases and responding, but we're still going to need sellers to put in the dimensions for their product at one time. We can't do that for you. We don't have your products and start using the shipment tool so that we can get documents as needed. But if they implement the process properly, all it is, is, you know, sending in a text, it gets uploaded into the tool, put it all the way into the case. And it's really pretty seamless. Nice, man. I understand. So essentially it's, it's really automated. And from, yeah. again, from my experience with your tool, man, it's just a few clicks. And as you mentioned, also like to tell to the listeners inside the seller locker, there is like knowledge base where you yeah. can see how it all works. Right. So for sellers yeah. who are like not sure exactly what to put where there are walkthroughs. And, yeah, and we have a customer it. support team and they'll walk you through onboarding every customer according to their needs, making maybe some tweaks of the software and this and that. One other thing to mention is we do have custom pricing. So we have the right pricing tier per customer. We have, you know, annual caps, different fee structures. So if pricing is an issue for sellers, let them reach out to us and we'll find the right price for them. Every business is different and works differently. And then like you mentioned earlier, we are giving out a uh, discount code. So whoever uses your link, we're going to give them the first thousand dollars in reimbursements on the house just to get their feet wet, get excited about it. So if anyone uses your link, they're going to get that free credit just to, you know, get excited about Seller Locker and see what we can do. Man, I really appreciate that you're sharing with my audience because it's big money. We can, you know, kind of recover for free, I would say, with your tool. And guys from my people and who are watching, maybe stumbled upon, use the services of Joe. They work. I've tested them. And the guys are, as you can see, they're cool. And Joe is a nice guy and he created this. It's, it's, it's not an easy system to create, I'm sure, because I don't know how you do that in two clicks. Everything <laughs> is submitted. So give it a try. Man, Joe, I would like to ask you last question. It's not exactly about Seller Locker and because I'm really excited each time to connect with entrepreneurs and I would like to ask you, man, like what really moves you as an entrepreneur? How come, why would you create this? Like, why would you create this huge system? What really makes you do that? Can you tell us these? Yeah. So I was a, um, I was managing a pretty large Amazon account. I was, Mm -hmm. and it started small and it grew very quickly. And as you may know, as things grow, it becomes harder to manage and yeah. you can't do everything on your own and you definitely can do things manually. You need to have yeah. systems and automations in place, you know, SOPs yes. and mm-hmm. 
I could just couldn't do it anymore. I was doing it all manually. I learned a lot about it. I couldn't outsource this task to a third party because I can't put that company in risk if anything happens. And at the time, Amazon was very hard about reimbursements and automating that process and outsourcing that process. So I said, you know what, let me take my brain, put it into a software, partnered with a software developer, and we built out whatever I was doing manually into processes. And it had to be one click or else it just, it's not worth your time. Yeah. And that's what we did. Yeah. And now we have sellers that are opening up, you know, I have one seller that recovered a million dollars this year, 7,000 cases. You know how hard it is to open up 7,000 cases? Oh, yeah, up. man, it's crazy. It's impossible. So you can't <laughs> like... do it without a system. No. So that was the mindset. How can I make my time most efficient? I started doing it for this account. We recovered about $100,000. And I said, all right, this is, this is great. Let's turn this into a business and, and provide this service for all the other sellers. And then we got into the Amazon app store, which was huge. So Amazon actually gave us that stamp of approval where they approve it now too in the way that we're doing things. And, and that was great. Thanks for sharing, man. I appreciate that you shared with us because as I mentioned, I, I get fascinated by, by, you know, by people who create such things. And yeah, you mentioned time and I think it's a big thing because our time here unfortunately or fortunately is limited on the planet. So you got to right. make the most out of it. And that's what I would tell to the audience, man. Joe, thanks for sharing the tool. Thanks for coming. And I would definitely have, would be glad to have you again on the channel, man. Thank and you. You're always for welcome out. to come. All the best. Yeah. All the best, man. If any sellers have any questions, let them reach out to us. And uh, you, know, we'll you can drop comments or just contact guys directly. We're going to have again the links in the description for you. May everyone have a great day. You got it. All the best. Bye.